In this week's news, we take a look at a new modular controller, five great Ableton push performances, a great new documentary on the world of cassette tapes, and Ableton Link gets new supported software. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. The company Special Waves has just released information on their new Mind Controller series. There will be two controllers, the Mind and the Mind S. The Mind will be an 8x8 grid and the Mind S will be an 8x4 grid. On this grid, you'll be able to place buttons, knobs, and faders in any arrangement that can work for you that you set up personally as long as it fits within those grids. So you can make up things that are similar to, say, a Novation Launchpad or maybe something like a Control X1 from Native Instruments. Something similar to that, but you can customize and place things in different positions. If you're not satisfied with the off-the-shelf solutions that you can find right now, the Special Waves Mine and Mine S look like two promising controllers. I mean, I can think of so many different combinations of buttons and faders and knobs in different positions that would be suitable for say Tractor or special for Serato or maybe something more grid based for Ableton and with this controller you can just buy the base once and just buy the different parts and arrange them in whichever way you want for whatever software you're looking at using. As we get closer to the end of the year everyone's gonna have their top five list for the year and different kinds of lists uh, end of year wrap ups and Ableton is no different. They have just released a list of five of their favorite Ableton push performances. These include performances from artists such as Stro Elliott, which is one of my personal favorites. And as a push user myself, these are very inspiring and gives me different ways of thinking of how to use the push, not only for production, but for live performance. So if you'd like to go ahead and check that out, the link to that list will be found down in the description. Create Digital Music just posted a mini documentary on cassette tapes. Cassette tapes hold a special place in my heart as they were the first way that I was able to record music and record mixes from off the radio or off other cassette tapes. It was a way for me to really get into DJing if I really look back and think about it. So take a look at this short documentary. It's under 10 minutes, informative and entertaining. And if you want to see it, go ahead and check out the link in the description down below. And finally this week, DJ software company Mix Vibes has just announced that Ableton Link will be integrated into all of their software. So from Mix Vibes on Android, iOS, and even Mac OS, you can get Ableton Link support. So you can go ahead and link that with other DJ software such as Serato and Tractor, or even link it with Ableton itself. It shows that Ableton Link is really getting integrated into every facet of DJ software. It's a great thing because now all these softwares can talk to each other. And it's something that I've said previously before that being able to link and sync all of these different softwares is just a great thing because no matter what kind of software you're using, you know that you can sync and you can communicate to other people and other DJs. So it takes away that thing in the back of your mind if you're worried about, oh, what is this guy playing or what is this guy playing, if you're playing with other people, and just makes everything way more seamless as a DJ. So that's it for the news this week. So question of the day, if you could create your own DJ controller, what would you have on it? How big would it be? What kind of controls would it have? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.